you know with today's video i didn't get to search any other scripture so thoroughly to see if it says it exactly as i've titled it but uh what what one scripture that i found was in the book of malachi chapter 3 verse 10 and by the way hello everyone my name is ishmael and if you're watching for the first time and welcome to today's video in which the book was talking about uh, bring all the tithe into my house but that's not really the part that i want to talk about i want, don't want to talk about tithe but it was like and see test me in this way and see if i won't pour unto you blessings that you won't even have enough room to accommodate you know or you won't even have enough room left to put those blessings that i'm going to pour unto you hallelujah so here i spoke about breakthrough coming in like a flood isn't it breakthrough coming in like a flood and yeah this scripture here is talking about so much blessings that you won't even have enough room to put in i don't know whom this message is really for but i know there is somebody who needs this weight one thing for sure i might not be able to tell you and say your name and is specify you or describe you but I know that somebody needs this message. That's why I'm sharing this message. I know it's going to bring a life into somebody when they hear it. Whether you hear it now or in the next year or when. But I know this is one powerful message that stands the test of time. That needs somebody. That is meant to bring healing to somebody. To bring hope into somebody. And to, bring, to be an eye opener to somebody. Because not necessarily it's an eye opener or bring hope but it's something that the lord can do and that he's going to do and sometimes you might not realize it because maybe you are no longer in the presence of god and you might not realize it because maybe you're no longer in faith because sometimes that hinders our blessings like the israelites who some they couldn't go to canaan because of their unbelief they kept on murmuring complaining and all hence they died in the wilderness and i don't want somebody even if you don't die a physical death, but you find that you don't die out in the sight of the Lord or in the favor of the Lord. You don't die out from God fulfilling what he promised you some time back. Because there is a thing of dying out and you die out in a manner where God gives up on you in terms of what he had promised you. That's why, that's, that's why we need faith or else God was going to raise faith for good if it was not necessary to have faith for God to even fulfill some of the things in our lives. Yes, there are some of the things which we receive without having to have that so much faith. That's why the Bible says like that of a mustard seed. There are some things, some mountains in our life, they don't need so much amount of faith, but they just need that one of a size of a mustard seed. And sometimes there's that, those situations that needs that greater amount of faith so it differs but i don't want you to die out that's why to always be in good faith in good belief it's so necessary because it always keeps you in a safer position but when you have an unbelief some things you won't see them because of your lack of absence of belief you remember when those are uh, people who were sent to spy on the land that were those who came out back with bad report saying we can never defeat those people they are so much great they are so big they are giants and all but you know people like joshua and as well as caleb they believed that but we believe through god almighty we can conquer hence they were so favored by god and the lord made sure that they do enter canaan meaning it is still even to this very day it is still important to believe and not to doubt god because we don't know how much we can miss out on if we do not believe that's why I'm telling you, there is something great that the Lord God Almighty can still do to your life. And he still wants to do. But all you have to do is to believe and expect. You might have not seen it. It might, be, it might seem too much great or impossible to reach. But allow me to tell you that in the name of Jesus Christ, you are surely going to see it in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Allow me to talk to you about so much great your breakthrough coming in like flood allow me to tell you that it is possible and what am i talking about here exactly 
I'm talking about that there is so much blessings that the Lord is capable of doing and it's not a manner of which God is just giving you hope or is giving his people hope that I can bless you. You won't have, allow me to tell you that from my own personal experience, I have seen God blessing me so much where like, I'm like, you know, this is now too much. Now I'm getting overwhelmed. And let me tell you that steps, the stages when you are getting blessed. Sometimes you can get blessed and you feel like, okay, I'm blessed and blessed. Oh, okay. And then the Lord leaves you alone or those blessings end and you'll be like, oh, okay, at least I got to be blessed with this. And you can look at those things and then you'll be enjoying them. But oh, I remember the Lord gave me a breakthrough. I didn't have money and he gave me money and I was able to buy this thing. That is a such type of blessing and it ends there. And then you go on, you face life with its challenges. Then one time, Lord bless me and he blesses you. It ends there. You go on on life like that, like that. But there's a time where the Lord comes in. He starts blessing you. And those blessings, when they get to you or they come to you, wow, you get overwhelmed. They become so much to an extent where like, after receiving this blessing, as you're still enjoying one blessing, another one comes in. While you're still focused on this blessing, another one hits you. You're still enjoying now, another one hits you to an extent where you realize, even if the Lord was to stop here, I was not going to regret or be ang angry or be, you know what? But like the Lord keeps bring, bless, gives you one blessing after another. To an extent where now you realize now, I'm turning into something else. Now maybe I'm becoming rich. Now I'm becoming, you know, like... People of God, somebody out there, please hear me out. The Lord that we serve is so amazing. He's not just speaking. He can bless you to that extent. He does bless people to that extent. Where now you don't know when is he going to stop and already you know that it's more than enough. But the Lord in, if on a daily basis, he keeps on increasing. That's why I'm saying today in today's video that a blessing like a flood is coming to somebody. You are going to see it. Some may testify that they have already begun seeing it. And more are going to see it. And I pray that you receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. You live to see it in the name of Jesus Christ. You remember that it does exist. God, when he says You'll have so much blessing that you won't even have enough room to put in. He means it. He doesn't. If, if he was talking about just a mere blessing, you, he was going to say that I'm going to bless you. And that's all. But he's going to do more. Like he promised Abraham, your descendants are going to be as numerous as the stars in the sky. He was trying to even describe. When the Lord tries to even describe, just know he means business. If it's just a mere blessing, they will tell you that I'm going to bless you. Amen. But when he tries to describe, it means what he's about to do is so much great. Hallelujah. And somebody is going to see this. You are going to see what I'm talking about. Personally, I have seen it. I'm still seeing it. And I believe I'm still going to see even more. The more that I didn't even know that it existed. And I couldn't even believe, but... The God that we serve, he does it. He is more than capable. He is more than able. Somebody will testify of what I'm talking about. I tell you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Allow me to cut this video here, okay? And let me the name of the Lord be blessed and be praised forever and ever. Amen. And of course, that's all I had for you in today's video. Remember to like today's video, to share it as well as subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know every time I upload new videos like this. And be sure that you are born again Christian. If you are backslidden or not sure of your salvation, rededicate your life unto the Lord Jesus Christ. Repent and re invite him back into your heart. And for prayer requests, spiritual advices, DM me on my Instagram or email me. The details are on the description of the video below. And as for me, Ishmael and your priest, I will see you in the next video upload. Take care and stay blessed.